tonight. Only five remain. And they learn just how far they've turned back the clock. You've doubled your life expectancy. And then the tables are turned when the champions get their revenge. Oh, do not stop. How do you feel? <laughs> And the trainers get a feel... <laughs> oh, man, we could be here all day. ..for country life. Come on, commando, pull! <sighs> and... How you going, Ararat? Right? It's the final town weigh-in. Back into the basket! Has Ararat reached their weight loss goal of 26,000 kilos? The house was a bit quiet. And as we walked through, we found the contestants lined up at the back of the house. The mean machine. machine. Oh, pocket, pocket rocket. rocket fair enough. Super cat. Super cat. Oh, smiling at Sam. Crusher. <laughs> Give yourselves some nicknames. Our rat PT. The contestants <laughs> obviously had something special in store for us. And it's about that time of the year that all three trainers dread. Good morning, trainers. <laughs> <laughs> For months, we've endured your hardcore sessions and suffered intense discomfort at your hands. Well, today, we're returning the favour. It's time for us to train the trainers. <laughs> They've put a lot of prep into this. They want blood, and they want it now. How are you feeling, Michelle? Uh, I'm ready, Tony. Bring it your best. Commando? Yeah, give me what you got. <laughs> what about you, Shannon? You guys deserve it, I guess. You're the final five. You guys have earned it, so it's time for us to suck it up, huh? Well, prepare to face your inner demons. It's a little harder than you think. Let's go. For 11 weeks now, Commando has been pushing us to our limits. It's time for payback today. See you guys. Bye. I hope the medic can be in three places at once. All right, come on, Michelle. So today we're going to do a quick, hard session. All right. I'm with you. Yep, I want you to do your best. I'll do my and best. And then a little bit more. Okay. You don't want to leave anything in the tank. <sighs> Got right? it. Okay, I'm pumped. Okay. I think Tony's training style will be like a school teacher. That's what she does. She's a school teacher, so she'll have everything pretty much lined up, exactly what she wants to do, and I will take whatever she's got to dish out. And 30, beautiful. Three, nice jumping. Want to see lots of air between the floor and those feet, please? Seven, eight. It is definitely all about giving 100%. Michelle needs to put in while we're in there. Yep, she can sleep later. That's it, lovely. Get right to the end. It's working. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Tony's got the name The Smiling Assassin, and I actually think that suits her very well. She just keeps that smile going, but I know she's going to be crushing me. Not too fast, not too fast. Get your breath, get your breath. Thanks, Tony. No, no. You're a good trainer. <laughs> she's going pretty hard at it. She's still got time to talk, so I'll ask her a couple of questions. How are you feeling? Feel good. Yep, yep. <laughs> Tony wanted to have a bit of fun with me today, asking me questions about, has this changed my life? And, you know, it was all good in good fun. How much do you really want to be here, Michelle? Oh, I, I need to be here. <laughs> I need to be here for my family, for my friends, and most of all, for myself, Tony. Excellent, excellent. I'm so glad you can see that now. OK. A very proud moment to see someone that I've worked so hard on get to that point. So, uh, are you are you planning a new cookbook at the moment? I can't think of food right now. Oh. <laughs> Do you think, think the other training sessions Ten. can hear that? Eleven. No, louder. Oh, it's just a warm up. It's a bit slow. You're supposed to be sprinting, Commando. You should be fitter than that by now. What are you stopping for? Just slow down a little bit. Come on. We want a Commando to go straight from one exercise to the next. No stopping. I want it you. What did you stop for? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. My section was actually supposed to be just the warm-up, and he was stuck. Maybe we 
pushed him too much. Here we go. Okay. You gotta pick me up. Here you go. Take me to the other end. How do you wanna do it? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit! Oh. It's definitely every girl's dream to be picked up by Commando. I wasn't complaining. It's all yours, Craig. You ready for more? Over the past 11 weeks, Commando's had us carry about a thousand heavy tyres. It's time to give him a bit of his own medicine and see how he likes it. In one of our early sessions with the Commando, he had us dragging the tyre. One, two, three, go! There was a few of us there lying on the ground pulling that rope. We estimate it would be around 100 kilos. It was certainly tough. How bad do you want it? I think Commando was regretting introducing us to the tyre pull. That's it, you're almost there. He was really struggling, but he wasn't going to give up. As soon as he got an inch, he knew he could go the whole distance. Good work. Awesome. Well done. Where's hurting? God, I don't think there was a part of me that wasn't hurting. I could feel my heart beat in my head. This one's on the clock. Go. You know, I've certainly taught my contestants how to train. They're absolutely smashing me, but I'm enjoying it. Go, Commando. That's it. Well done. Over here. Commando thought we're all done and dusted, but we have one more thing in store. Back to the sandpit. You looking a bit hot? Feeling a bit. He needs to cool down. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. You, you feel a bit cooler now? Oh, felt for him a bit when he got hosed down at the end, because that would have been bloody cold, that water. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. That's rather invigorating. <laughs> this is easy for you. This is what you do all the time. Are you counting or am I counting? I better start counting for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, Katrina's seven, counting is about eight. as good as most trainers. I'm sure she missed about 50 reps before we'd even finish the warm-up. Beautiful. Are you counting because I forgot to start? <laughs> or sit down on that seat. Come on, effort for the last three. Big effort, big squat, come on. Was that 19? I have to trust you. Are you OK? Shannon was actually gassed after the warm-up, but we're just beginning. So how's that? Is that comfortable? No, it's very uncomfortable. Cats definitely learnt the worst of the worst. Incline 12 on the treadmill, walking at six kilometres an hour. Not quite a jog, not quite a fast walk. It is the most uncomfortable speed you can walk at, and she was revelling in it. Is there any chance that this could go up just that little bit higher? OK, for the last 30 seconds, I need you to run at 12 and a half. All those times I've had Katrina on this very treadmill, bearing a soul, crying, it's all coming back to me now very quickly. That's perfect. You're dead on target. Shan, tell me, how are you feeling about the upcoming weigh-in? Katrina really has picked up how I train. No screaming, no yelling. Just getting in someone's head and unlocking them mentally to get the most from them physically. I'm sure somewhere in there you've got a 95. I'm positive you have. Just that, rip that just a little bit extra. Pull it right back. Katrina read me like a book and opened me like a walnut. I fessed my deepest, darkest secrets today. This stuff really works. Well done. Training was done. But in typical Katrina fashion, she had one more surprise up her sleeve. Oh, my God! Oh, my it's the total weight <laughs> that she's lost since coming to Biggest Loser on day one. 24.9 kilos. How's that feeling? Horrible, mate. It's just dragging me back. Shan, you're going to fall off. I actually was really scared he was going to fall off. And then I would have felt terrible. I can't bear it any longer. <sighs> How horrible is that? Just a couple of minutes on the treadmill and my heart rate was above 180 beats. I was cranking it. That's so brutal. Guess what? What? you got a few minutes to catch your breath. Oh, okay. We've got something else. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, I've seen it all before. Come on. Oh, can we have a coffee?
I thought I'd seen it all before in post train the trainer torture. But today, it was taken to a whole new level. You know about this? Oh my God. Chickens, sheep, a cow. What on earth have they got us doing? This does not look good. Hello, trainers. Hi. We've been living in your world for the last 10 weeks. <laughs> Haven't you ever? Now it's time for you to experience our world. Welcome to the biggest loser, Bunny Farm. Oh. <laughs> we thought we'd set the train as a challenge, our rat style. It'll be interesting to see how the city slickers handle the farm work. We have five farm jobs for you to complete. You need to. Herd the sheep. Chop the wood. All of it. Till I say stop. Oh, of course. Milk the cow. Find a needle in that haystack. We're in that. A needle. a needle. And then you got to tow that tractor oh. to the finish line. We've taught these guys way too much. You will have half an hour to complete all these jobs. I've just come out of Train the Trainer. I'm feeling pretty spent. Five farm jobs in 30 minutes. This is going to be tough. Are you ready? Start the clock. <laughs> Come here, little cheeky. Oh, don't scare them. Coming up... <laughs> can the trainers pass the farmyard test? Oh, you're quick. Push oh, up into the udder as you pull. Oh, everyone's a professional now, aren't they? And later, the final town weigh-in. Back into the basket. Has Ararat lost 26,000 kilos and the tag of one of Australia's most overweight towns? Let's go. Being on the receiving end of a challenge is a unique feeling. We had to herd sheep, milk a cow, chop firewood, find a needle in a haystack, and then move a tractor. Great. We had to do all of this in 30 minutes. All right, guys, you're right you there. Him? Hold him nice and carefully. That's the way. Oh, little sheepy. Don't make sure to shut the door. Mine's still eating. <laughs> My sheep was definitely from Ararat. As I carried it across to the other pen, Still had a mouthful of food. Did he touch his butt? He did. Shut the gate! Shut the oh, gate! No. Ah! Is he, oh, they're coming, yeah. We're stuffed. We're gonna look like idiots chasing them all over the lawn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're quick. Commando's hunted down enemy in the jungle all his life, but seeing him trying to capture that sheep today, whole new level. Come on, come on. It's okay. Go, Shane, grab him. How many have you got? Last one. There you go. Right, what's next? Wood chopping. Come on, let's go. It was time for the wood chop. Where the hell's the chainsaw? They got me trusty cross trainers, mate. All right, Shane, get in there. Swing that axe. Split her up. The strategy was simple. Hit it as hard as you could. Put your back into it. Come on, Sean. Oh, oh. It's like my goal swing air shot. <laughs> Kerry absolutely loved the job of being in charge and telling us what to do. He's a total taskmaster. It's over five minutes. 24 minutes to go. Go, Sean. Yeah, that's a good split. A bit more yet. I'll have a load too, thanks. Oh, <laughs> It's all right, we need plenty of wood. I don't think Shannon could ever become a country boy. He struggled with some of that wood. He didn't give up. He just kept swinging away until the two wheelbarrows were full. Yeah! Oh. Righto, now we need the two barrows taken over to where the sheep are. Quickly. And what? <laughs> Michelle's had it pretty easy in the farm challenge so far, but now it's time for her to meet Peaches. All right, Peaches, be a... Uh... Be gentle on this, my first time. Between the two of us, we'll get it right. I'm sure. Oh, sh oh I did it. Hang on, it's from... Oh, maybe I'll try that one. Oh, man, we could be here all day. You know you can use your whole... all your fingers, not just... Push up into the udder more. Yeah, yeah that's and it. Get push right up. up into the udder as you pull. Down. Oh, everyone's a professional yeah. now. Oh. Aren't they? <laughs> How much have I got to get? I feel the jug. 
Are you serious? I just want to do it in a gentle way. <laughs> I'm sure the peaches appreciated my woman's touch. <laughs> Tag. Okay, go. 11 sure. minutes down. Slow and steady wins the race. Michelle was making progress, but it was slow. And by the speed of progress, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing coming out yet, are you? We've got a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to make friends can, with her. You, you don't have to, like, you know, get her to like you first or anything. Yeah, she won't. <laughs> He's shaking there. He's nervous, dude. He is nervous. You're shaking. He's shaking. Did anyone check the gauge? I think the whole girl's empty. Milking's obviously not my strong suit. It was time to hand the reins over to the commando. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. How's those hands? <laughs> oh, it's been a while, girl. Oh, he's an old pro. Oh, yeah, he's done he's this done before. This before. <laughs> Gee. That's what you get growing up on a farm, yeah? Well, thanks for the heads up, champ. Commando was definitely a glory hunter. Off he went with the perfect technique. Didn't share any of those secrets with us. You stick to chopping the wood, Shannon. Yep. <laughs> Just about. Just about. Yay! Yep, done. Good job. No! Oh, I was going to do it. Come on. Commando just dived straight into the haystack. It was hilarious. Five minutes to go. There's still a tractor to move. Yeah, it was a huge haystack, and I wasn't sure if we'd ever find that needle, but I wanted to be the one that found it. Ah, yes! <laughs> and I did it. Michelle did. I was spewing. But as soon as she found it, I was gone. In that tractor, Michelle. <laughs> Three minutes. The strategy for the tractor pull was to get Commando at the front, Shannon on the back, and me driving. Not much time left. We think we can still do this, so let's go. Come on, Commando! That's it, guys. Keep it going. Oh, my God! He's going! Pulling that tractor was all about creating some momentum, getting it onto a roll. But as it always happens, there's a bit of dead ground. As soon as the tractor ends up in it, I'm down on my knees, digging my fingers into the earth trying to make up an inch or two. Don't give up. Come on, Commando! Don't oh. run out of legs. Talk about the old push me, pull you. Commando was pulling as hard as I was pushing. We needed to get that tractor across the line, and there was only minutes left. <laughs> time to dig, Dave. You haven't got time to give up now. 30 seconds to go. Just in the nick of time, I joined Shannon. Come on, guys, we've got to get this done. We cannot let the contestants beat us. 15. <laughs> to get that track to cross the finish line within the 30 minutes was a pretty fulfilling accomplishment. But I was spent. <laughs> I can't stand up. Coming up. Dr. Swan is back. Last time we saw Dr. Swan, the results for these guys was looking pretty grim. But this time, the champions discover all the lost years they've regained. You've doubled your life expectancy. In training, we showed the contestants just how far they've come physically, mentally and how much they've increased their fitness. But there was one more thing to come. We wanted to show the contestants just how far they've come medically and how it's impacted on their health. Guys, 10 weeks ago, Dr Swan hit you with the shocking facts of how your unhealthy lifestyles were killing you. He confronted you with the cold, hard truths about your predicted ages of death if you continued on those paths. Last time Dr Swan came, he gave us all a big reality check. He basically said, we're all going to die early. I was really worried about you when I saw you 10 weeks ago. There was some really bad news. The cumulative loss of valuable life was huge. People who are smoking, drinking a lot, and you're looking fabulous. In only 10 weeks, it is truly extraordinary. I've put in weeks of hard work. I've lost near on 50 kilos. I'm looking forward to what he has to say, and hopefully I'm working in the right direction. Kerry, let's start with you. Kerry, you're a drinker. How much do you drink? Heaps. 
Let's look at how much you've actually been drinking. Wow. Wow. 24 kegs of beer in a year. Can I say you were a drinker? Yeah, I haven't had one since. Not only have you cut out the drink, mate, you've lost 36 kilos. You want to see what 36 kilos looks like? Yeah, yeah, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weight that you've lost in beer. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, let's see how that translates into your lifespan. So you're 49. Yep. We predicted 10 weeks ago that your age at death would be 64. That's only 15 years to go. Let's see what we're now predicting. Oh. 78. That means you've regained 14 years. You've doubled your life expectancy. Pretty exciting, Kerry. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's in 14 good years. That's even more important. Tony? Yeah, it's phenomenal. That's 14 more years with your husband. Yeah, yeah. And Tony, we're about to see whether you're going to get those 14 years with Kerry. I feel good, 14 years, and knowing the job's still not complete. Like, yeah, I'll probably be a grumpy old bugger, but I'll be about. Tony, how much weight has Tony lost, Michelle? 29.1 yes. kilos. Yeah. So let's see about those 14 years that Kerry's got, how many extra years we think you've regained. So you're 48. Mm -hmm. When we first saw you, your predicted age at death was 64. That's young. Yeah. Now your predicted age at death is 77. <laughs> that means you've regained 13 years. So keep this up, persevere, and you'll live well into your 80s. You both will. Yeah. <laughs> Kerry and I didn't have that many years together when we first came on to The Biggest Loser, but now we've doubled that amount of time together, and, yeah, life's looking good. Katrina, your turn. When I first saw you 10 weeks ago, your family was worried sick about you. Unfortunately, your weight's led to you pushing me away at times. I know you can do this. It's very important that you do. I want my wife back. You are my world. You know that you are my world, love. So let's see how well you've done. You're 45 now. Yeah. When you started, we predicted that your age of death would be 70. Not too bad. I mean, that's 10 years or more off the mark, but you weren't a smoker and you didn't have a lot of other risk factors apart from your obesity. But that was the best case scenario. Let's see what you've achieved. Katrina, let's see how well you've done. You're 45 now. Yeah. When you started, we predicted that your age of death would be 70. Let's see what you've achieved. <laughs> 79. Your hard work has bought you back nine years, and it's after only 10 weeks. Your blood pressure's come down, your BMI's come down, your cholesterol's come down. All those reasons add up to that nine years. This is gonna mean that you'll see your boys when they're age 50. Yeah, I'd never thought of it like that. 
It's yeah. extraordinary. It is, especially if, um, if they're 50, that means they'll probably have children that I'll get to see their 21sts or weddings. In the future, I can't wait to be a grandmother. So there, there'll be no holding me back. It'll just be, you know, how often I can get my hands on those kids. Just not now, OK, boys? <laughs> so, Craig, it's your turn. Do you remember me measuring your waist circumference? Yes, I remember that. So you're 160 centimetres around the waist. Yep. Katrina, you're around 160 centimetres tall. So that's how wide you are around the waist. So you've been working hard. So your waist circumference has come down a lot. Your blood pressure's come down by an astounding 28 points. Whoa! 28 points. Do you know what a blood pressure pill gets you down? The doctors think it's really good if they can get you down by six or eight points. You've come down by 28 points. You have vastly reduced your risk of stroke and heart attacks, but particularly having a stroke later in life. What does it feel like to hear that? Oh, it's just awesome. Like, I'm feeling good about myself just for the weight loss and how much more mobile I am, but to know that long term it's going to be a big benefit just makes it all the hard work worthwhile. How much weight, Commando, has Craig lost? Well, I met Craig in the, uh, in the pub in Ararat. And like Kerry, he didn't mind a beer. Mm. Also didn't mind a steak, mate. <laughs> and to date, you've lost 46.4 kilos. Yep. Do you want to see what that looks like? Yep. <laughs> Carve that bad boy up. <laughs> oh my god. 46.4 kilos. Imagine that chucked onto me now. I just can't picture it, and it's unbelievable to think that's possible. What's the conversation you're going to have with your mates when they say, oh, come on, another beer, let's go out and have some steak and chips? Now I just know that it's not the way to go, that there's more things to enjoy in life than, you know, getting drunk at the pub and drinking too much and eating too much and no need to throw it all away. I've still got a fair way to go and I can see the benefit from it, so I'm going to stick at it. So let's see how far you really have gone. We predicted that you were going to die at 59. You were going to die a young man. Let's see where we think you've got. Seventy-two. You've regained thirteen years. Rewarding. Yeah, it makes all the hard work worthwhile. Like, to see that there, you know, just in this short time, you know, I've added thirteen years to my life, and just encourages me to take it further when I get out of here. And that number's only going to improve as the more I commit to it long term. You've really got to work hard to get the rest off, yeah. so that every year will be a good year so you don't develop diabetes, you keep your blood pressure down, you don't develop dementia, and you don't get cancer. You've got your whole life to look forward to, but it comes down to your discipline, your dedication to seeing this through. After Dr Swan's visit today, I'm a lot more positive. I know I'm in the right direction. It's given me more determination to push forward and drive hard and not give up. Coming up... Sharon finds out her results. You're looking a bit nervous, Sharon. But how many years has she bought back? I'm not going to smoke anymore. And Ararat weigh in for the final time. Your current weight is? Have they done enough to reach their 26,000 kilo target? Sharon, your turn. You're a bit nervous, Sharon. A little bit. <laughs> Why? It's very confronting, all the different things that have come out and we've seen. So you were one of our smokers? Yes, I was. Do you remember those lungs I showed you? Yes, I do. This is a smoker's lung. Sharon, you've got two kids. So they're breathing in your smoke. Who above all else are you doing this for? 
my kids. You've avoided over a thousand cigarettes in the last <laughs> few weeks. Just think of the money that could have gone on your kids. Yeah. And just think what's not gone into your body. That's the tar oh. that your lungs aren't filtering out. That's the reality. Oh. I'll never smoke another cigarette again. Ever. So that's what cigarettes pumping into your lungs. Not just yours, your kids. That's all changed now, yeah? Yes. That's why I come here to change. I'm not going to smoke anymore. For yourself? For my family. And for your family? So let's see what's happened. So you're 31, and we predicted 10 weeks ago that you would die at the age of 69. Yeah. Unforgettable. Yeah. Young woman. Yeah. So what are we predicting now? Eighty-seven. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. So you've regained 18 oh. years. Oh, my God. If I keep doing this and lose more and change, keep changing, I could get a letter from the Queen. <laughs> there you go. You said it. Why you've made that bigger leap than anybody else is that smoking was holding you back so much, along with the bad diet, the fat around your tummy, and everything else. When you package up all those lifestyle changes you've made here, that's how much it buys you. Gosh. So at that age, you would have your 60th wedding anniversary oh. with your husband. That's cool. That's cool. I was so happy that I had done that. I had lost the weight. I quit smoking. I had changed my diet. I felt like, like it was a little bit of a challenge and I had won. You know, I felt like, I'm the winner! <laughs> So 10 weeks ago, I made a promise to you that this was reversible. You probably didn't believe me at the time. And here we are 10 weeks later, and you've managed to do it. But you can't stop now. You owe it to your family, to your friends, and to your town. You're leading the way. Don't stop. Commando and I are headed back to Ararat. 11 weeks ago, we were handed the biggest loser's biggest ever challenge. This time, you two will be saving an entire town. For Ararat, the statistics were frightening. On average, this town is going to die earlier and suffer more ill health than other towns around Australia. Ararat, we are challenging you to turn the future of your town around from one of the fattest towns in Australia to one of the fittest towns in Australia. Can you do it? Yeah! Today is D-Day. Time for the town's final way. Let's just hope they've done enough. How are you going, all right? Are you good? You excited? 11 weeks ago, the biggest loser came here to help. We set you a massive challenge. Ararat, as a town, you weigh 901,062 kilograms. You need to lose at least 26,000 kilos. <laughs> have you done it? Yes! Who thinks you may have smashed it? Yes! Well, Ararat, Let's see how you've done. It's time to weigh in. All right, 
It's time to weigh in for the very last time. Back into the basket. It was time to see if Ararat had succeeded in its 26,000 kilo weight loss target. This is make or break for us. All righty, let's get the first one underway. If they don't hit the target that we set, the last 11 weeks will have been in vain. OK, the first basket weighs 2,005 kilos. In groups of about 30, the town piled into the baskets to be weighed in for the final time. They looked a little smaller, but only time will tell. So that basket weighs 2,340 kilos. Good work, guys and girls. Next lot, let's get ready. That one's 2,160 kilos. Look at all the blue team, I love it. Go the blues, go the blues. Everywhere we go, people are coming up and saying, mate, we've changed, I've lost this amount, I can do this much on the treadmill. The entire town has been swept up in Biggest Loser fever. So that's 2,180 kilos. Things are looking fantastic. Here you go, take it away. Let's get up on the screen. There you go, all right. Let's go, next basket, two to go. Go, Team Sharon, get in that basket. The groundswell of change in Ararat is unmistakable. The people of Ararat have been working hard to turn the health and future of the town around. That one's 2265, Commander. 2,265 kilos. OK, last basket. Let's roll. That one's a little on the heavy side, 2,725 kilos. At the halfway point, the town was well ahead of their goal. But the losses had definitely slowed down. Michelle's been away for a couple of weeks now. Ararat have been by themselves. We just hope they've kept up that motivation. Ararat, as a town, your starting weight was 901,062 kilos. Your current weight is... Everything comes down to this number. Let's just hope they've done enough. Your current weight is 861,512 kilos. That's a loss of 39,550 kilos. We thought 26,000 kilos would be a massive ask. They absolutely destroyed it. Great job, Ararat. As well as exercising and losing weight over the past 11 weeks, you've also been having your regular health checkups at the Alia kiosk at the local YMCA. Aaliyah has been collecting all of your health data and the results have been very interesting. Here's Dr Norman Swan to reveal your new health statistics for your town. Well, thanks, Commando. Well done, Ararat. The numbers are looking amazing. Truly amazing. You have walked 235 million steps. That's the equivalent of walking around the world four times. Ararat has reduced the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 70%. That's 791 people who are not going to develop diabetes in their lifetimes in this town. You've managed to reduce your average blood pressure by 12%. That means the town as a whole has reduced its stroke risk by half. That's only 11 weeks. Blood pressure's down. The chance of diabetes and stroke have been reduced. The town have had an entire lifestyle shift. That is truly amazing. If you could put this in pills in a bottle, you'd make a fortune. So let's translate this into reclaimed years. We calculate that Ararat has gained, on average for each person, six years of healthy life. As a town, that's over 67,000 healthy gained years of life. 
And if you translate it into dollars, it's at least, just in healthcare costs, $2 million. And if you could translate what Ararat has done to the nation, you're talking about billions of dollars. Well done. Turning Ararat's health and lifestyles around is one of my most proud moments since coming to The Biggest Loser. I know the success that we've had in Ararat will last for generations. When we set this challenge, we were determined to achieve great change for Ararat. Through your own hard work, you've completely transformed the future of your town. So what we want to do is challenge Australia to match Ararat. Are you happy about that? It bloody well should be. Ararat has turned from one of Australia's fattest towns into one of Australia's fittest. Mission accomplished.